Stock on one up. Sorry, can't hear you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, I can help you with anything you need. But that's going to cause a bunch of people. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I'm currently on my way to go see my sister. I have clearly already had a morning. You guys have probably seen like I did my typical morning routine, did a workout, I did um, chest and shoulders today and a little bit of triceps. So knocked out my workout and now I'm going to have a work day with my sister. 
she lives about 30 minutes from me right now and then um i'm actually i currently am like in the process of maybe house hunting a little bit and like i'm in no rush because my lease is until april and i just I don't know, I'm keeping my options open. When I lived in Tuscaloosa, I started like the home, like house hunting process. And then I decided that I didn't actually want to buy in Alabama. So when I moved here, I was like, okay, I'm gonna rent for a year and figure out like which areas I like, if I even wanna be in Tampa. And I don't think that Tampa, like right in Tampa is for me. So I'm kind of exploring um, all sorts of different options. Like I'm, I mean, Tampa's an option, but um, I want more of like a neighborhood feel rather than like being in the city. And this just is very trap, like lots of traffic. Just, I don't know. I'm not positive that Tampa is for me right in Tampa, but there are lots of areas around Tampa that I like. So it's been lots of driving. Um, yesterday I went to a showing um, to see a house and I liked it. I don't think it was my dream house or like the house that I really want to live in, but um, I think there would be a lot of things that I would want to change, but I loved the area, I loved the neighborhood. So it's just going to be a process and I wanted to start early enough that I could um, really find what I'm looking for and not be rushed because when it comes down to it and like it's April and my lease is up and I'm like have to decide if I want to um, rent again or if I want to buy, then it'd be a little bit more of a rush decision. So long story short, you guys will probably hear about that coming up here in the next couple months of like just this process and um, how it's going and whatnot. I really have no idea which town or which area I want to be in. So that is kind of nice that I'm able to keep my options open because I really like I'm I'm not super I'm not super like set on Tampa like right in the city of Tampa but today we're gonna knock out some work with my sister I get to see Ty which is my nephew if you're new here um, my sister had a baby a little over a month ago which it's crazy that it's already been a month um, and then uh, I have a couple showings later today to see a house and then um i think those are around like four o'clock or something so probably gonna have lunch with my sister and i think jay might come meet us for lunch and i just want to check in with you guys and say hello welcome to this vlog and i'm gonna turn on some music i've been in a christmas music vibe lately already i know it's only the middle of november actually it's the beginning of november so um today is the ninth and i'm already like Full on Christmas mode. I've been listening to Christmas music while I work out even. So if that tells you how much of a Christmas mode I'm in, uh, I think this weekend we're gonna go Christmas shopping together. I said, oh, I'll see you later. And then now I'm gonna keep talking, which is what I always do. Um, this weekend, I think my sister and I are gonna go Christmas shopping together at like Target and do like a wholesome little Christmas shopping day where we get Christmas decor and I might even look at like uh, I know that Crate and Barrel has some really cute stuff and like places like that because um, I'm finally able to decorate for Christmas I feel like the last couple years when you're in college like I don't like um, like temporary decor like I want decor that I'll want for a long time like I don't want to like invest in just like cheapo um, Christmas decor if that makes sense like I, I really want nice stuff so now I feel like I'm finally able to like invest in things that I have like a style that I'd want for a while or like at least a couple years um, and I actually will have room to store stuff I feel like in the past I really haven't had the room to store Christmas stuff anyways and I've never really been like in my apartment for Christmas time because I would always go home for Christmas break in college and like also last year I think I went to Michigan for a while during Christmas time and yeah so long story short this weekend we're gonna do some Christmas shopping and that's gonna be fun I'll make sure to vlog this weekend too and also one more thing speaking of Christmas stuff um, I'm going to start linking my I made a gift guide and it's on like I made it through this thing I think it's called shop my um, but I found that and I'm like, this is perfect. It's, I was gonna do a Google Docs of all of my like gift guide ideas 
but then you wouldn't even be able to like see what you're clicking on it would just like have a name with it so I ended up making this account to so you can like see the photo of what you're clicking on um, and then I can put them in categories so if you guys do want to see like my gift guides I'm gonna do like gift guide for him gift guide for like um, your parents or like mother-in-law father-in-law um, I'm gonna do gift guide for like home stuff and yeah all the things so anyways i'll make sure to put that in my description box in case you are wanting some ideas i'll start early because i know that people start christmas shopping in november sometimes like i've already started my christmas shopping planning um so i'll keep you on the loop but just wanted to mention that and then i will see you guys when i get to my sister this is probably one of those hindsight moments where i might oh, wish I that i never yes. yeah that i never did that so i bought a halo Can I get started today? Hi, can I do a grande, um, I think it, a vanilla latte, please? Grande vanilla latte, of course. And, and then I'm also gonna do a venti cold brew with um, just a splash of oat. Every time I say that, somebody who's Thank been like- Thank you so much. Have a good one. Like, oh, you need chile? Yeah. yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm. What is the right thing to do? It's like. Hello there, handsome man. See, look this way. I've heard that you haven't been sleeping very much, have you? <laughs> Did he sleep last night at all? Yeah, a little bit. What do you think? Are you ready for me to hold you? <laughs> Milk drunk. Milk drunk. <laughs> Is this Criminal Minds? Mm -hmm. Shocker. Hello, you want to come over here and say hi to the baby? Hey! She like jumps, but like in the air and not on you, you know? Right. Because <laughs> she knows no baby, no baby jumps. <laughs> oh, we're going wobbly, dude. Do you? Hello so there. I hear that. I already got my um, Starbucks earlier. I bet they can't guess what mom. Did you get the sugar cookie? Of course. Sugar cookie, almond milk. Lots oh, of they milk. use blonde espresso. Hmm. So it has espresso. I think that yeah. I don't know why he's like so? It's nice, but he's just bored. I think. Hi guys, okay, so it's been a little bit. I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm just picking out my pajamas for the night. Um, it's been kind of a busy afternoon. You guys saw that I did work with my sister. I hung out with Tyson and everything. And then um, Jay came and met my sister and I. We went to, Jay came and met my sister and me to go to Panera. So we had lunch at Panera. And then I went on another showing for another house. So that took up quite a while because we had quite a long drive got caught in traffic and everything so kind of a busy afternoon and then I just did cardio on the treadmill at my apartment um so I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'm gonna self tan which I'm still trying to perfect my self tan but I feel like the last couple times it's like faded really weirdly and looked I don't know like I've had to like scrub myself freaking raw with exfoliant to try and get myself tanner off so it's like just never even so I'm still trying to figure out like a self tan that I absolutely love um, but I'm gonna jump in the shower and I think I've let myself tan completely fade so now it's like a clean slate I can have some good self tan I feel like I'm like pasty as heck because it's starting to be like those months where I don't go outside hardly at all um, and then I'm going to pick up I feel like my room is just a disaster right now because I have so much laundry I need to fold and put away so I'm gonna do that and then just start winding down for the night. I started, it starts with us quite some time ago. Like, I think it's been like two weeks now. Maybe it's only been a week. It feels like it's been a long time ago. Probably like a week and a half or so since I started, it starts with us and I just have not been able to get into it. I have like not been on my reading game lately. 
so I think tonight is a good night. It's only 6.50 right now. Let myself tan sit before I get into bed and maybe I'll just like sit and read after I clean up, organize a little bit, clean my kitchen some, and wind down for the night because I'm just beat tired. Today felt like a really long day. I'm gonna jump in the shower, feel worn out. I'm not gonna wash my hair or anything. I just need to rinse off and then self tan. Also, these are the products that I've been using lately for my body products. So I saw it on TikTok and it's the um, Salt Air. I've been using this body wash, so I'm gonna bring this into the shower with me. And then after I do the body lotion, which is, sorry, I've got like my hair everywhere. Um, the Santel Bloom, and then I do the body oil after I do the lotion. And this is in the Pink Beach, so I'll make sure to link this. I saw them on TikTok and they're actually really affordable and I've been loving doing like matching scents um, across the board for like all of my body products because then you just smell so good. Like I feel like nothing's like conflicting with scents. So I'm gonna bring this in here and time to shower. Just jumped out of the shower in self tan. So of course I've got some dark pajamas on. Um, I'm gonna wind down, I'm gonna put away some clothes and light some candles and whatnot. It's only 7.20, um, but I'm going to start winding down. My face is breaking out so badly, so I need to put some pimple patches on. And I got some stuff from Lululemon last week, so I just need to put that away. Um, well, maybe I'll wait to try some on. They're my typical sizes, so I probably don't need to try them on, but need to put those away. And then I also got a new pair of shoes, so I'll show you those before I let you guys go until tomorrow. But I got these really cute Adidas's. I think I saw Libby wearing them, Libby Christensen, and I was like, I love those so much. I love a good pair of like white sneakers. I think she had a different color, um, but I just want to show you guys those before I put those away. I'm gonna put some laundry away. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, I've actually been up for a little bit. I just got done making my bed, but I've been out in my living room watching vlogs. So I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna turn off my hatch because I woke up before my alarm, but I have had my alarm set today at 6.15. So at 6.15 the wind chimes will start, but before that it will, like I just turned it off because obviously I have it set for 6.15. But like before that I will gradually have it start doing a sunrise alarm for 15 minutes and I'm trying to think of what I have conquering Fiji Fuji Fuji <laughs> conquering Fuji um, as mine and then it will do wind chimes at 615 so that's what I have at my hatch alarm too and I don't pay a subscription so it's like it doesn't cost me anything each month um, just like the one time I bought it on Amazon like literally over a year ago and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna start getting ready for the gym, grab my water, and good morning. Here's today's gym fit with my new sneaks and I'm gonna wear like the higher ankle socks. But this is the Align sports bra from Lululemon and then the Align shorts. And I go in waves. This was like my favorite bra if you've been here for a while. It's been my favorite bra before my Flow Y obsession. And I'm slowly getting back into my Align obsession. So um, I love this because I don't have a Flow Y that matches my... Um, I think this is, gosh, you know what I mean, maroon. I'll have to figure out what the actual color is for this because it's not Cassis. It's looking like Cassis because it's so bright under that light. But um, I don't have a flow Y that matches this, so I love wearing the line as a matching set, and it's just going to look so cute with some white sneakers. Well, wow. Look at how, look at the water. Yeah, I know. Well, we are in the midst of a hurricane. Sydney's first hurricane ever. And I am freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I shouldn't have told you. I left, yeah, you should have just, you know. Um, just, yeah, you know, it's just a regular storm. What's the saying? Um, just 
Brainstorm. What's the saying that when you don't know something, ignorance, something ign ignorance is uh, key or something? Is that right? Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Bliss. Some some things are better left unknown. <laughs> I just saw the weather thing up there. It said like storms every hour of the day. Time to make some breakfast. At least we have power. Yeah, we pulled back in and we we're pretty worried that. So it's weird. I don't know if you can describe it better than I can. I'm gonna, when we come in and it's like, yeah, like in the our parking, parking deck, garage. Um, in our parking deck, it was garage. really dark and parking deck, not <laughs> garage. It was really dark and it looked like there was not gonna be power because that's how it was last time. Like the garage, the they have the, the gate, emergency lights. Yeah, the gate was up where you didn't have to have like a code, and that only happens when there's no power. So mm -hmm. I was like. How am I gonna make my breakfast? And you said we might be going somewhere. Yeah. I think we would have went to what, like um. Starbucks. No, what's We're, that one place? Another called? broken egg. Yeah. yeah. That would have been good, but instead. Making some here. homemade. What you got? I'm gonna make some toast, turkey bacon, and an egg scramble. The and veggies. An egg scramble. I really need groceries yeah. today, but it's not looking like it's going to be a grocery day. And I need my nails done. Yeah, I don't know if any of that is happening because you were freaked out to even go to the gym yeah. in this weather. So. And I'm just like lagging today. Lagging. Okay. We know that it's been incredible that we want to be with each other, but not only hurt again, you know, I want to be hurt by someone. My self tan hands are crazy. It's getting dark. My self tan hands. Uh, lol, lol crazy. I did shower it off this morning, but what's up guys? It's been a little bit. I did a little bit of computer work and right now we are watching Love is Blind. Jay, have either of us been right on things? Um, you were you were right on Brennan and Alexa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am 0 for 3 so far. Yeah. Well, I mean you could I don't know. Oh my gosh, our Alexa keeps hearing us say But currently everything's closed. I was gonna go get my nails done today. I'm gonna put that off till tomorrow because the nail salon's closed. Jay, you said all the Starbucks were closed pretty much other than one. Yes, I went to four different Starbucks. Four? I didn't even know we had four Starbucks around here. Yep. But yeah, all three, three of them were closed. The last one, they were open but closing at noon. So I got there right in time. Wow. So we are gonna binge watch. I feel like there are only a couple. Is this the last episode of Love Is Blind? Probably. Know, so this is the. Remember the other night? Yeah. Was like upload or new episodes the night. Yeah, I feel like that's this one. I feel like this is probably yes. because that's this is the one. wedding. These are like the, the wedding, last yeah. weddings. So watch this last episode of Love Is Blind, and I'm just feeling, it's probably because of this weather, I'm just feeling so blah, and don't feel like doing anything. Like that is- to relax. Me relax. Jay is like, this is a day that you need to actually just take to relax. You can't go anywhere. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll force myself. Jay, would you describe me as the most relaxed, go with the flow, chill person? Um, no, the complete opposite. Okay, then. The complete opposite, 1,000%. <laughs> I will say, since getting this sectional, I'm a little more chill. Yeah. It does make I, me want to relax. You will um, lay down in that spot, too. You've already claimed that that's yes, your spot. Yes, it's so cozy. This is my corner. And then I have the Christmas tree makes it way cozier in here. And Love is Blind has been my obsession lately. I will say that much. My sister and I are going Christmas shopping this weekend. And we're going to go to, I didn't realize that there was a Kirkland's here. Did you know that, Jay? What is that? That's where I got all my ornaments from, from my Christmas tree in Alabama. And I didn't realize there's a Kirkland's in Florida. She said that there's Kirkland's right over by where she lives. So we'll get Christmas decor from there too. I'm not gonna get so much though, cause like we only have so many spots that we can decorate in here. Right. 
but of course they can get Christmas decor. And I just want to check in with you guys and tell you that we're just relaxing. Today, we didn't expect a random Thursday to be a relaxing day, but the storm said, um, stay inside and that's what we're going to do. Couple more things before I end off this vlog. So I need to break down all those 500 boxes, but I got this towel warmer. My sister was saying that she wanted one for Christmas and I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. So I found one and I'm gonna try this one um, first just to see how I feel about this. Bless you, Jay. Um, it's kind of big for a bathroom, but I think it will be just fine to have like in the corner and I think it will be so nice to have a towel warmer for like when you get out of the shower and have a warm towel, which I don't know. Obviously I've never had before, but then I also got a couple other things. So I got this smart plug because someone recommended it to me. Um, it was super inexpensive from Amazon, but my Christmas tree over there and we're gonna move that tree as well so we don't have two trees in the living room. But um, someone recommended getting this so that I can just turn on and off my Christmas tree from I guess the app I think you use it on um, because I always have to like climb behind the Christmas tree because the plug's behind it. And then a few more things that I wanted to show you guys as well. So I have this TV stand, it was one from Target, like it was not, Super expensive, it was very reasonable, and it's see-through. Like, I don't like how you can see the bins through it, and I'm going to put my filing stuff in there, like, from my business stuff, like, whether it's receipts or just, like, important paperwork. I wanted to put it in here because I don't really have anything in my office to put stuff like that in, and this was empty, so all I have right now is, like, this bin of my electronics. So, I saw, I think it was Clara Purse on TikTok, she posted that she used, like, paper, I think just black paper, and put it behind here. So, I think I'm going to do that so that you can't see um, in through the front of this. You see how you can, like, see the... I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but you can like see everything you put in here. Uh, so I think the black will make it look really good. I'm gonna do that. And then I also got two more things of Pura, um, or Pura, yeah, Pura. I've already had this for like a little over two years, I think I've used a Pura, and I've had the same one for two years. So I got one for each of the rooms, the living room, um, the office, and then I have one other one. So I'll put one in my bedroom as well. And then these are from Amazon. Um, Pura, you just order off of Pura. And then my last thing is these Giselle's brownies. So I got these off of, I got them online, but I know that they sell them at Air One in California. And I saw these on TikTok and I was like, I need to try these so that I can reinvent them because they're very expensive to ship here. Um, I think like the shipping is like the most expensive part, but they are vegan keto brownies, but what I like about them is that there's no refined sugar, they are soy and corn free, and then they're gluten free, and they have a really good, like they're very macro friendly, honestly. Very surprising, but they're out of chickpeas, so I need to figure out how to make these myself so I don't have to order them anymore. I got like an order of them, but um, I don't wanna have to keep ordering them. Because they're expansive. Anyways, I think that I'm going to end off this vlog. Not much happening today, clearly. Um, we finished watching Love is Blind, and I think that I need to go to the grocery store. Do you think the grocery store is going to be open? Um, yeah. Probably need to grab some groceries if it's not bad out. It's kind of windy out. Um, and then I also want to go on a walk, so I'll probably just do that on the treadmill in my apartment building. But I think I will end off this vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed my little day and a half, day and a half in my life. I think I'm going to vlog this weekend as well because we're going to do the Christmas shopping and whatnot and I know I'm babysitting uh, my nephew tomorrow night so I might just pick up a vlog tomorrow. Regardless, regardless, thanks so much for watching and I love y'all and I will see you next time.